If you couldn't tell already, in this episode of What's In My Pocket, where we feature all things EDC, AKA everyday carry, we're going blackout again. So let's check it out. Today, we're rocking the new Dayfarer Active Sling and their updated Dayfarer Shorts Edition 3 for our pocket carry. But before all that, we gotta check out the fit up top. This is the Canada Goose New Era Trucker Cap. And right off the bat, this is a very overpriced cap but you can't deny it looks pretty slick. This is based off the new era seven panel trucker cap and the real OGs know you gotta keep that shiny sticker on top to keep it 100. It's got a full blacked out rubber Canada goose patch to subtly show that Canadian pride and overall the hat feels more premium. Is it over a hundred dollars level of premium? Probably not, but there are some features that I haven't seen in many other caps. Starting with this matte black finish buckle. It's matte and it feels great to touch. The words Canada Goose are embossed into the strap as well. Just in case someone is looking at you from behind, you gotta make sure they know you ain't no chump. And then on the inside, a hidden pocket. Velcroed securely shut, I managed to fit three cards and some daily essentials comfortably inside with room to spare. Thanks to the stiffer front material, it neatly hides the fact that you've got all your safety gear stored inside this. Now I don't think they meant for you to store things while being worn it'd be terribly awkward to ask the cashier to wait for you while you pull cash out of your head it's more so when you get somewhere want to dump your pockets and this gives you a place to securely do so although given how expensive this hat is i wouldn't be surprised if someone just took the whole thing thankfully with this tiny metal carabiner around back this can also double as a really large and inconvenient purse attached to your belt yeah money well spent. Since we already showed it off, let's start down under. These are the new Dayfarer Shorts Edition 3, which have quickly become my go-to shorts. But moving to the front pocket, let's talk phone. In this collection, the iPhone 11 Pro, but more importantly, sporting a D-brand grip case with that teardown skin for all that dark robo techno vibes. The case itself, as the name suggests, is grippy. They line both the edges with these rubber patches that kind of feel sticky and mushy, which gives your fingers something to actually grasp onto while not having anything stick out or in the way whatsoever. The buttons are textured, making them easy to locate, and they're very satisfying to click. And the case has a thick enough booty around back to keep that Illuminati cutout safe. But really, it's this that gives it the wow factor, the customizable back. Like with this teardown series that just satisfies my eight year old self's desire to break open every toy I got to see how it worked and then never knowing how to put it back together. I can still hear my mom scolding me every time. There's a fair lip around the front screen, lowered side edges for a smoother Tinder swiping experience and enough protection when you realize no one is swiping right on you. Obviously I had to take this a step further though, like with this mounting bracket for the Pop Sockets Pop Wallet Plus. To sum it up, it's a really simple wallet for your phone. Two hard plastic shells sandwiching a large elastic on the inside, slide on and click into place. Wabam, this flapjack ain't going anywhere until you want it to, of course. It holds three cards comfortably, but more importantly, securely hidden away as well. And then just as quick and easy to retrieve. Their plus versions have a pop socket mount built in. I've got their new chunky boy attached, the pop grip stash. Although it's got a thick booty, it still works just like a regular pop socket, offering added grip for confidence, both physically and emotionally. And it still doubles as a phone stand for your late night hands-free activities. But what makes this stash model special though? Yeah, you probably guessed by now, it's a mini vault. But common down below what you'd carry inside this, if you know what I'm saying. Once shut, it holds in place without coming loose and also doubles as an excellent emergency maraca. But if you have zero musical talent like I, at the very least, you'll always have fresh breath. The beauty is if you want to slim down, you still can, because I will admit with the stash on, it can get a little tricky with pockets as they now have to dodge a giant bulge on your phone. It's nothing unbearable and the Dayfarer short stretchiness handles them like a champ. The party down under ain't over yet. This is the Riot Division Samurai Belt because it ain't a complete blackout EDC unless you achieve the Ninja Samurai status. Attached to it though, the Dispatch AirPods Pro Clip as part of their Fidlock keychain set. With my favorite item in this whole video, a Colorware Matte Black Official Apple AirPods Pro. Before you get too excited, this almost doubles the cost of the actual AirPods, but this also isn't just some skin you stick on. Colorware actually paints everything in the color of your choice and does a damn good job at it too. And when you spend this much money on something, you don't want to hide it in some dinky case. That's why the Dispatch AirPods Pro Clip is perfect. It's more of a soft pouch for your fancy AirPods to rest in. The soft material doesn't scratch the finish while still providing coverage from any dings or dongs. Retrieving is my favorite part though. Squeezing it out has an oddly relaxing nature to it. Plus, if you're in need of a tiny bag, I got you. Perfectly fitting a tiny Altoids tin or it's great for some loose change and obviously quick access to your daily essentials too. The whole keychain system is based on these Fidlock clips though. They've got several clipping options, but my favorite is their new carabiner clip. Everything 
everything stays securely in place, but with a simple lift, you've got instant access to it. Plus the universal mount means you can swap between them like onto their belt clip that also offers additional mounting options as well. Finally, to reiterate and really appreciate what Colorware has done, you have to see them side by side. The details in the edge finishing, LED cutout, and the alignment around the curved surfaces on the buds, this is something you constantly show your girlfriend and hope she gets the right gift idea for your three week anniversary. Now around back, a staple piece of EDC, your keys. And for this collection, we've got the Distill Union Key Loop. Starting off with that clean and minimal leather design, I've been a huge fan of their functional products, but also the level of detail they put into the craftsmanship, which you can see in the sealed edges and choice to use full grain leather. The product itself is simple. Two magnets that snap these key mods together to create a swivel point for easy and organized accessibility, which despite packing all that inside, the magnets are strong enough to keep everything in place in my scientific shake test. Now you may be wondering, why magnets? Well, let's say you need to share a key. Boom, it's that easy and just as fun to clip it back in. In actual usage, you can pick your weapon of choice, swish it around, and it's just like using a regular key. Better yet, you can slim down for the day and the key loop sizes accordingly. Plus, they embossed a quote from Bruce Lee on the inside. That's just pure awesomeness. The magnets are also a simple way to remind yourself to bring these with you. Stick it somewhere you'll see every day or straight up right on the door if you have the memory of a giraffe. What I've got attached to it though, the dapper design clip. I really love the look of this titanium carabiner. Flat and symmetrical, Geometric designs really hit home for me. The tiny hidden knife inside of it is just a bonus. While it won't do any serious cutting due to only being about three centimeters, it's perfect for small daily tasks like opening boxes and packaging. Plus, no one will even know you're packing such a tiny tool in your pants. I'm referring to the knife. As a carabiner though, the suspension hook design is simple and super easy to use. So just pop in a ring through the knife, attach it onto your keys, and simply slide it onto a belt loop, letting gravity do the rest of the work for you. Removal is just as simple, no locking or clipping anything. Plus, it also works great to keep order within your pockets. Now you'll always know where your keys are stored as you'll always have something to mount it onto. Moving on to the other cheek, if you have to hoard all your points cards with you, there's the Dango M1 Maverick wallet, and yes, it is as epic as it sounds. First, it's a full aluminum body, and the whole wallet is constructed like a tank. With every part screwed together, it can take a beating. There's two main storage slots, this RFID protected side thanks to the included backplate and tightened in with a large rubber strap that also doubles as a cash strap. On the opposite side is where it gets interesting, a fully uncovered pocket allowing you to easily access your ID or badge cards. It fits four cards comfortably and is secured in based on these rails on the side that utilize metal clips on the end that allow for smooth sliding action while also locking cards in place when stored away. Oh and yes, your wallet is probably tougher than you are, both physically and spiritually. Now, if you find you really suck at holding things, there are plenty of lanyard holes to connect the strap, but this would also look pretty wicked hanging from your neck. Taking it one step further, they offer upgrades too, like this chassis clip, a solid piece of steel blacked out obvi that you actually screw into place because this wallet isn't joking around. You've basically added an armor suit to your wallet, and given this channel is all about being excessive, I freaking love it. It will bulk up a bit, but it does make it a little more useful. The clip can be utilized for additional storage of cash or cards, but my favorite usage is if you need to badge into an office or show ID at all times, you'll never feel cooler than when wearing this on your belt. Especially when you pull this ninja move. Or if you're a real rebel, strap it straight onto your back strap for the quickest of quick access. So that's the new Dayfair shorts. They're my new go-tos that I wear until I need to do a number two. Not only because they're minimal, water resistant, and very durable, the four-way stretch material makes these the most comfortable shorts I own. And anyone with thunder thighs can understand the struggle. As a bonus, there's actually a secret zipper pocket within the front left pocket. I've got these high-tech poker chips, a wicked little fidget coin for anyone that can can't keep their hands still. This is a full titanium chip with their delta pattern inlay and everything about it screams wicked. It's tougher than nails, the symmetrical grooves feel great to just rub your fingers through, and it's just something you can fidget around with without worrying about dropping it and breaking. For context, if you've ever held a plastic poker chip before, it's pretty much identical in size and thickness. It also just acts like one too, but like way cooler to pull out of your pockets and show off. They're even better when you have more, thanks to these bridges. It's orgasmically satisfying when you feel these click perfectly in place. They've got a range of materials and designs, but they're also super exclusive and are released in drops. So if you want to cop one yourself, be sure to join their Facebook group and keep an eye out for any news on their Instagram. All right, all right, enough staring down there. Eyes up here, guys and gals. This tiny bag is the Dayfarer Active Slang, utilizing my favorite Fidlock magnetic buckles for easy and fun clipping action. At less than two 
liters in storage, it doesn't carry a lot, but that's kind of the point. It's not designed to lug around your phablet or other useless just-in-case products. This is for the essentials of essential EDC. A full width sleeve on the back, two stretchy mesh pockets in front of that for smaller items, and your main dump area for everything else that can approximately fit three fistfuls. To top it all off, a secret zippered pocket on the front wall. Although not as voluptuous inside, it does span the whole front face of the bag. In this case, a perfect pocket for the dispatch face mask, a new essential item that should be in everyone's EDC. These consist of a full cotton ripstop exterior with a 100% soft cotton interior fabric. There's also a pocket between the two fabrics for a filter you can cut to shape the fit inside. The nose bridge is supported with stiffer construction to help keep it in place, and they utilize a bandana fit system with, of course, a Fidlock magnetic buckle. Since it doesn't require you to hook onto your ears, it does take a bit to get used to, but I definitely prefer this over the constant chafing on my ears. Do note this isn't a direct substitute for N95 masks, but wearing a mask is recommended to help decrease exposure. The cover does stick out at the bottom, but I find it helps with breathing and speaking without rubbing up against my silky smooth lips. Plus, given this is reusable and washable, you can actually remove the strap and utilize it with any other mask you own. Just an extra measure to ensure the masks are completely wrapped around the sides. So let's do our part, wear a mask, and help prevent the spread for yourself and others around you. That's the front zipper pocket, fitting about a full flat hand inside, but moving inside the main pocket, this one's for the magic enthusiasts or just anyone that enjoys a game of big two. The Patrick Cunn classic case designed to hold a deck of cards and the Magician's Bible, the pocket edition of the expert at the card table by Erdnays. The case is made of a smooth and plush leather with clean stitching around the edges. It's got minimal branding around back and I'm kind of a fan of the orange pop here. It's held closed with a magnetic clasp, quick to access, but strong enough to keep things closed shut as well. The soft suede like lining on the inside make sure your deck of choice is comfy but more importantly the whole case keeps your cards in pristine condition while on the go the backside also doubles as a sleeve for a credit card or two cash if you still live in the early 2000s or even some magic props to impress the ladies the case just makes holding a deck of cards feel way more profesh but it's also just one less thing you have to worry about when tossing into your bag if you're curious inside we've got the stussy bicycle playing cards in that black and white contrast design nothing fancy but a splendid choice for the this collection. As for that pocketbook, let's just say it's the first thing every magician should read through. Erdnays is an OG magician that crafted a lot of what's out there now, and this book teaches the foundations to pretty much every other trick out there. It's about the size of a playing card and fits perfectly with the classic case. A great set to have on you to practice your double lifts on the go. Now that's the back sleeve with plenty of room to fit other flatter items, but moving to the front now for bigger boned items like these foldy sunglasses. And I can't imagine a name more straightforward and cute at the same time. You unfold and we'll well, bam. If you love staring at the sun for that burning sensation, well with these babies, now you can do that while looking super fly. This is their brow line style with the half brim design. It's minimal while still being sturdier than your flimsy aviators. The fold lines hide away nicely, they feel like full fledged sunglasses with the classic nose bridge, and they don't fold in on itself even if you like to do this for some reason. Plus they sit securely in place on my head through my scientific shake test as well. When you're done, putting them away is just 5 folds away. It is a little thick, but that's why the included leather pouch comes in clutch, where you can also store a microfiber cloth as you will inevitably touch the lens by accident and on purpose. Now given how tiny this bag is, you do need a matching tiny battery. That's where the Zendure Super Mini 5K comes in handy. Yes, it's only 5000 milliamps, blah blah blah, but for its size, it's well worth it because it only takes up the size of a mini Mars bar. And it also offers USB-C fast charging through power delivery as well as regular USB output. Find me any other battery this small that can charge your iPhone up in about half an hour, or if you really need that extra boost, even capable of charging your iPad Pro. Relative to everything else you're holding, it's like carrying an additional chapstick. Just instead of ensuring your lips are moist, this ensures your phone stays juiced throughout the day. This is the new Dissum inverted lighter. Not inverted like it shoots flames inside itself, but like you can shoot flames upside down. So first off, it's a solidly built lighter. The whole thing is made of a metal shell and wrapped with some soft rubber on the bottom, which makes handling this super comfortable. It's about as tall as a regular pick lighter, but as wide as a standard Zippo. However, in usage, it's way more practical with a single button to boot up and a flame adjuster that can turn this into a baby dragon. Obviously its main selling point though, it's being able to invert it. Super useful if you celebrate every little accomplishment in life, like happy Wednesday every week. It's just way easier to do compared to your standard lighter and you don't have to fear for your life. The cutout also makes gripping the lighter feel natural and thanks to the low temperature pressurized butane fuel tank, it creates the perfect flame output every single time. So although this lighter looks cute with its donut hole cutout, it can still handle some serious abuse. 
and it's just super fun to fidget with too. Although I don't recommend playing with fire, especially near your eyebrows. Then there's the tiniest item of them all, the Big Idea Design Mini TI Pen, of course, in the stealthy black finish here. Utilizing a twist mechanism to play peekaboo with your pen, it's small. And I kind of love it because it's just long enough to comfortably sit in the crevice of my hand, more than enough to perfect my masterpieces. And I know what you're wondering. What about the Fisher Space bullet pen? Well, it's a different style. While the Fisher Space requires you to remove and recap, it's perfect for those looking for an easy to carry full size pen, but the mini TI pen sits shorter on the hand and it takes some time to get used to, but it can be managed with a single hand as twisting out and in is a breeze. There's also the fact it's made of titanium, so it's pretty much indestructible. Combine that with the clean and simple design, it's a fun pen to fidget with that'll easily fit into the smallest of pockets or directly onto your keychain as it looks right at home beside your fellow tiny EDC goodies. Taking a deeper look into the bag components, more magnetic fid lock buckles on the front, this time with adjustable heights for when you're hoarding a little more than usual, but they also make for very quick and easy access by simply lifting while staying just as secured in place when closed as well. Oh, before I forget, one last add-on. I saw this mentioned on the Urban Prepper YouTube channel, link down below, check them out. It's just a doggy poop bag. You can find plenty of these on Amazon, but the point is I don't actually own a dog. What makes these useful is how cheap and easily accessible they are. They're compostable bags, which won't be terrible for mother nature, and they make for very useful impromptu gloves. If you're worried about that doorknob, grabbing packages, using tongs in store, you name it, the bag keeps you covered. When you're done, simply invert it and toss the bag out. The bags I have come in tiny rolls of 15, and they also double as seat covers, quick and dirty waterproofing, and well, an actual small bag too. The pouch I got has a carabiner built in, but also Velcro straps to attach onto a strap for convenient access. Back to the active sling though, made with a VX21 exterior, essentially a super tear resistant, waterproof, and lightweight material. Then the quick access and fun to fidget with magnetic buckle around back, and a small detail, but oh so important, these elastic loops that hold down the excess strap, so they're not flinging up all in your face. For how small this bag actually is, they even offer pivot joints to ensure the bag sits on you comfortably, so so for a little under two liters of storage, this is definitely the smallest, fully featured, and my new favorite sling bag I've tested to date. You know the drill by now, let me know in the comments what theme you'd like to see next, but that's it. I rest my blackout?